Hello there, my name is Musa the Giant from Deben, South Africa. Welcome to VAR Cryptocurrency Exchange step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, kindly allow me to show you how to get started with VAR Cryptocurrency Exchange to buy and sell cryptocurrencies and to trade cryptocurrencies, right? So basically what I would like to do uh, is to show you how to properly get started with um, the VAR cryptocurrency exchange, right? Now, but before we get to the meat and potatoes of this presentation, um, I would like to ask for a, a little favor, you know what I mean? So I would like you to actually, to actually subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? So this is my YouTube channel, just click on the subscribe button and then after that, click the notification bell and then click on the all button to make sure that you um, receive all my future video tutorials, which are going to help you to move from a cryptocurrency beginner to be, uh, to a cryptocurrency expert. All right. Now, once you have done that, now we're going to continue with the tutorial, right? All right. So now, as I indicated, I just wanted to show you how uh, uh, the VAR cryptocurrency exchange work. Uh, the first step is to click the link below this uh, video. Uh, once you have clicked on that link, uh, you're going to be able to register. And then once you have registered, just download the VAR Cryptocurrency Exchange app on your smartphones or on your tablet so that you can easily uh, use your cryptocurrency uh, exchange um, account, right? So let's get to the meeting potatoes. So now after you have just clicked the link below, what is going to happen is that you're going to... Uh, have a registration form displayed on your screen right all right so now after clicking the link below this video you're gonna be uh, redirected to this getting started uh, registration form so all you need to do is to enter your information here and choose your country from this down arrow here obviously i am in, in south africa and then um, enter your um, email address there and then enter your password there and as you can see you need to follow these instructions your password must include at least eight characters using uppercase lowercase a special character and a number so i will just give you an example of how your password must be created or how strong must it be all right okay so i will just click on this i here to show uh, my uh, password that i created for this particular account Obviously, I'm going to change it afterwards, all right, because I don't want it to be hacked, right? So, but as you can see, it has an uppercase, lowercase letters, a special character symbol, and some numbers, right? And then there's going to be my referral code in here so that I get a little bit of a, a commission, just, uh, you know, a VAR thanking me for uh, helping you to discover VAR and also helping you to be able to actually uh, buy and sell cryptocurrencies and trade cryptocurrencies as well. So, I'll, I'll get a little bit of a commission when you are using my code so my code should be here by default so all you do is just to click on this button here to indicate that you are not a robot you are a human being and then after that just click on the next button and then the var system is going to send a, a verification link to your email address that you registered with so you're going to go straight to your uh, gmail account and sure enough in my case i have received it so i'll just click on it to open this email from var and then click on the verify my email button all right now as you can see now it says email verified thank you for successfully verifying your email address please sign in to complete your account setup so just click on the sign in button enter the email address that you registered with and your uh, password that you registered with and then click on next verify your uh, cell phone number and click next Right now, so what's going to happen is that uh, VAR is going to send you a verification code by SMS. And once you enter that code, then it's going to let you know that it has been verified. And then you need to continue verifying your identity. All right. So just continue from there. Uh, enter all the details and continue and just complete all the steps. As you can see, you're going to have to uh, upload, upload your uh, identity to, to, to document or passport. And you might have to take a selfie as well. Just follow those steps until you have finished all of them. And then once you have done that, you're going to be able to log in into your uh, brand spanking new account. All right. So let's log into my existing account. All right. I have already done all those steps. So we're going to log into um, my account now so that I can show you exactly how to go about funding your account and buying some uh, cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. Now, so, so log in into your VAR account. If you are using a desktop or a laptop, just go to VAR.com, VAR.com 
form and then click on uh, sign in and enter your email address and your password if you are using your uh, smartphone or tablet uh, just launch uh, your app on your smartphone and then log in into your account all right now so i'm logged onto my account and by default the wallet tab is selected and you can see my portfolio currently i have this amount of money and um, if you take a look at the top here you have the buy or sell with two options you can do a simple buy and sell you can also use an exchange to buy and sell we're going to come back to this later and then you have your notifications there and you have your uh, profile here so when you just hover your mouse pointer here um, on your name uh, you can uh, view the transition that you might have made uh, in the past you can uh, view your referrals if you have been referring other people and getting some commissions you can go to a uh, bank accounts in fact let's just go to the bank accounts because i want to show you where you would you go in order for you to be able to link your va account with your bank account so when you get to this page you can just click on where it says uh link another um bank account in my case i have already linked two bank accounts so i can link uh, another bank account if i wanted to do that all right um if you go to transactions again you can be able to see all the transactions you might have made in the past in my case you can see that i've been receiving some referral commissions uh every single day all right and then uh if you go to referrals again i said uh if you want to make some commissions you can actually share a with other people teach them how it works like just like i'm teaching you and you could be getting some commissions um you can see that i'm on level three i have uh, 98 people who registered with my link just like you you're gonna be uh one of my referrals as well and um if you go to the settings button you're gonna be able to uh for example update your profile if you want to do that you can go to security and you can be able to reset your password you can also be able to use google authenticator to protect your account so that it's not easy for people to hack your account and steal your cryptocurrency all right now let's just quickly go back to the wallet tab so that i can show you exactly how to send money from your bank to your va account so that you can buy some cryptocurrency uh what is very easy uh what you can do you can just click on a deposit za that's if you are in south africa so obviously if you are not in south africa you're going to have a different option there depending on which currency that you're using in your country uh in my case i'm backing with fnb and, and fnb is uh, very works very very well with a var um a cryptocurrency wallet because when you send money it gets uh, there almost instantly so now what happened is that now var actually uh, gave me these banking details so that i can be able to send money from my fnb account to my va account you could be using any bank it doesn't have to be fnb but it's just that it's gonna take a little bit long for your money to reflect in your va account if you are not using fnb right so because i'm using fnb uh as i said you could be using any bank just take these bank details and add them into your bank account as one of the recipients so that you can easily send money from your bank to your uh, va account right so in my case what i will do is i will just copy and paste this information into my fnb account and then i will send money from my fnb account to my va account so let me show you exactly how to do that so i'm going to switch over to my fnb account and show you how to do it all right so i'm logged on to my fnb account so all i need to do is to click on accounts and then um and then i click on the pay button to pay from this account here so uh, i'll just click on the pay button and then i'm going to uh, select the recipient that i want to pay in this case i want to pay va so uh, i have already linked my va account with my bank account so va is one of my recipients so i will just click on it here to indicate that i want to send money and make sure that you enter the exact same reference that va gave you remember that they gave me this reference here and here as well so you want to make sure that you do not misspell this because if you make a mistake your money might not come to your VAR account but it might go to somebody else's VAR account so be very very careful when you're entering your reference so in my case i have done it and then i want to send um just 500 rand for this demonstration and i will click on pay and i need to confirm that i want to do this transaction and i need to use my fnb app to approve this transaction right all right, so now I just approved uh, this pr uh, transaction now. Um, so as you can see, it says, thank you, payment successfully done. And I will just click on the finish button. And then um, I can just switch back to my VA account and go back to my wallet. All right, now it took a little bit longer for my money to reflect, but it's, as you can see now, it's reflecting here. It took about three to four minutes before it shows up here. If you are using a different bank, if you are not using FNB, it might take up to two business days so it might be a good idea for you to 
to use FNB. All right. So now that I have rent in my uh, ZA wallet, this is my ZA wallet, my uh, rent wallet. This is my Bitcoin wallet. This is my Ethereum wallet, and I have many other wallets. Uh, I mean, uh, there are uh, over fifty cryptocurrencies that you can buy in VAR, right? But uh, for this uh, example, I will just show you how to buy Bitcoin with your ZA. So let's just quickly go back to uh, wallets again. This is my uh, rent value that I have in my ZA wallet. So I will use this amount to buy some Bitcoin. So how do you go about doing that? Uh, you have two options. You can either use a simple buy or you can use an exchange. If you want to buy Bitcoins instantly, you don't want to wait. Just click on simple buy or sell, right? And then once you have done that, indicate that you want to buy Bitcoins with what? With rent, right? So click on that. And then as you can see, I have Bitcoin and Ethereum. In this case, I want to buy a Bitcoin at this current price. I don't want to wait. I'll just click on the buy button. And then after that, I need to indicate how much I want to buy with. In this case, I want to use the entire balance that I have in my ZA wallet. So it's 563 cents. And I will click on the review button. And after that, I'm happy with this. So I'm going to get this amount of Bitcoins. So I will just click on the confirm button. And as you can see, I have already completed this order, right? So now I click OK. Now, if I go back to my wallet, and you will see that um, in my ZA wallet, I no longer have any rents, but I have Bitcoins because I have just um, exchanged the rents into what? Into Bitcoins. So basically, that's how you can use VAR cryptocurrency to buy some Bitcoins. Now that you have Bitcoins in your VAR account, what you can do is if you wanted to invest in other cryptocurrencies. Now, remember that um, VAR uh, cryptocurrency supports over 50 uh, different cryptocurrencies. So, so now that you have Bitcoin, you can now be able to what to buy different cryptocurrencies in your VAR account. But we are not going to do that now. But obviously, it's very easy. You can just click on the buy button next to the cryptocurrency that you want to buy. For example, if I wanted to buy some um, Cardano, I would just click on buy and then follow the steps and just completed that transaction. It's very, very easy, right? So just to recap, I have showed you how to uh, register and create your uh, VAR cryptocurrency exchange account so that you can buy some Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. And um, I showed you how to uh, send money from your bank to your VAR account and then buy some Bitcoins. All right. So um, let's just quickly go back to your uh, cryptocurrency wallet. Now, let's say you want to send these Bitcoins to someone. Maybe you want to pay for uh, goods and services or maybe you are buying packages from different investment um, you know, opportunities. It's very easy. You just click on the withdraw button and then you would have to specify the address of the person or of the company that you want to pay uh, here and then and then put the amount there and then click on um, review withdrawal and then just confirm that withdrawal. It's, it's, it's that easy, right? But let's say um, Let's just say you want to receive Bitcoins. Maybe someone wants to send you some Bitcoins from their Bitcoin wallet, or maybe you want to withdraw your earnings from whatever investment company that you have been investing in in Bitcoin, and they've been paying you in Bitcoins. Now you want to receive Bitcoins from them. Well, how do you now do that? What well, is very easy? You just click on the deposit button under the Bitcoin section. Just click on a deposit. And then you can either give them this QR code or you can just copy your Bitcoin address and send it to them or save it in that particular uh, company's dashboard so that you can be able to withdraw from that company's uh, dashboard into your personal uh, VAR cryptocurrency wallet. So that's how easy it is to receive Bitcoins from anyone anywhere in the world. And that's how easy it is for you to be able to send any amount of money to anyone anywhere in the world using Bitcoin. And the transaction fees are very, very, very low. All right. So now let's say you've been receiving some Bitcoins maybe from your different investment opportunities and you have some Bitcoins in your VAR account and you now want to cash it out. You want to send it from your VAR cryptocurrency exchange into your personal bank account. Again, it works faster with FNB. Now, how do you go about withdrawing your money from your VAR account into your personal bank account? So the first step is to sell your Bitcoins for rents so that you can withdraw rents into your bank account, right? So how do you go about doing that again? It's very easy. You just go back into your wallet. So in my case, I'm already in my wallet. So uh, this is my Bitcoin wallet. So now what I need to do is to exchange these Bitcoins into what? 
into rent. So how, how do you do that instantly? You just go to buy or sell and then select the simple buy or sell because you don't want to waste time, right? And then you go to um, this down arrow and then indicate that you want to sell your Bitcoins for what? For rent. So you would click on this button here and then indicate how much Bitcoin you want to sell. In my case, I want to sell the entire balance that is there. And obviously there's going to be a, a small transition fee that is going to be deducted from my transaction. And then I just click on a review sell. I am now converting Bitcoins back into, into rents, right? And then just click on confirm sell. And just like that, you have now exchanged your za i mean your bitcoins into into your fiat currency you could be using za using pullers depending on where you are in the world basically right so now you can see that now my bitcoin wallet is empty but my rent wallet now has some money in it right so now at this point now i can be able to what i can be able to to withdraw my rents back to my fnb account so how do i do that i will just click on a withdraw you see how you see how easy it is to do this stuff once you know what you're doing right and then here uh in my case i've already added uh, the bank that i want to withdraw to so i have two bank accounts i need to indicate which one in my case in your case you might be having just one so just select the one you want to you want to withdraw to indicate how much you want to withdraw in my case i want to withdraw everything and then they're gonna charge you a small amount um of H150, regardless of the amount that you are withdrawing from your uh, VA cryptocurrency exchange, you could be withdrawing tens of thousands of rents. They're still going to charge you on the H150. How cool is that? How awesome is that? Right? And then just click on review withdraw, and uh, they will send you an SMS because uh, they want to make sure that you are the person uh, who wants to withdraw this. And uh, just enter that uh, the number that they're going to send to you here. Uh, in my case let me just go grab it quickly and uh put it in here all right so they gave me eight double three eight double three all right and then i just need to click the confirm button now to confirm my withdrawal and um withdrawal requests received so because i'm banking with fnb again it's going to take um less a couple of hours before it actually hits my uh, fnb account but if you are banking with a different bank it might take up to two business uh days before it actually hits your uh, bank account so um i have showed you pretty much everything that you need to know in order to be able to get started with the var account and uh, now remember to subscribe to my youtube channel because i release these useful videos on a regular basis and um i really ap appreciate your time and uh uh, for you to be to be here with me today and um, I look forward to be sharing more videos with you My name is Musa the Jan from Deben, South Africa and um, Let's get this crypto. Bye. Bye for now